Hi, my wife's cutting grass. I'm going to try to give you a quick overview of this, if you can excuse the noise. So this is my homemade solar-powered gate opener. Uh, this is a 12-foot gate from Tractor Supply. I don't know, 120 bucks maybe. Um, this is a 16-inch, 12-volt DC uh, linear actuator. This is a little RF relay uh, control board. You can get these. Well, this one was about 10 bucks. Um, I've actually seen them much cheaper now, and I believe they're improved uh, from the way this one is. We've got a double pole, double throw relay, um, 12 volt lawn and garden type battery. You could probably get one a little cheaper than this. Um, I think I paid 75 bucks for this. It was a little too much. And then the solar panel. So my particular opener came with this little remote. These are about a dime a dozen. You really don't need these now. Um, kind of waiting on her to get by. Okay, so pretty simple operation. Uh, this has four buttons. Uh, this particular uh, right there is the little microchip that controls the relays. This is a, um, there are three kinds. There's a momentary, a latch, and then uh, the, the other one's a toggle. This one is a latch, latching type relay system. So press it uh, one time and the relay will click and you have to press another button to turn it off. Um, see if I can get you in here where you can see these. You see the LEDs, that indicates that there's power on the relay. The way I've got this rigged up, when there's power on this relay, the power is off or the gate is open. Uh, when I turn the power off to this relay, the power's off to this one. It's a normally closed setup to where the gate is normally closed. So, um, in this particular case, for whatever reason, D is what closes the gate. So you can see the LED went off. The gate's closed and you can hear the actuator running. It's not really that loud. Um, I think it takes about 30 seconds or so to close the gate. Uh, like I say, it is a 12 foot gate. So, I mean, it's not the fastest opener or closer in the world, but definitely gets the job done. Later on, I'm gonna probably integrate a, uh, a latch mechanism over there on the post. So the newer uh, control boards, hang on for a sec. All right, the newer control boards don't come with this remote and they're about half the size of this one and they have an auto learn feature. So if you already have a garage door opener uh, remote or if you have one in your vehicle, they'll work. Um, this yellow wire is the uh, antenna. So I've, it's normally coiled up. I've got it stretched out a little for a little extra range. Um, don't really have a whole lot of range on this, but you know, what can you expect out of a $10 relay box? Um, just a little thing on the wire in here. I've got a switch in here because uh, when I first started, I, I had some problems with, um, for whatever reason, this uh, the relay would stick. Um, I don't really know what caused it, but I put the switch in line so I could reset it real easy without having to unscrew this or take any fuses out or anything. Uh, the way the wiring is set up, you've got a hot and negative from the battery. Uh, 12 volt positive, 12 volt negative, and then over here you have a 12 volt positive from the battery, and then from out uh, from the uh, load side of the relay goes over to this double pole, double throw relay, and um, it just energizes or de-energizes the coil or the um, the relay. Um, the relay has 12 volt positive ground, and then. Um, You've also got uh, uh, load and uh, ground coming out of there. Alligator clips for the uh, 12 volt. Alligator clips there for the 12 volt uh, solar panel. And then um, what you'll want to do if you do your own is you'll want to put a fuse on the ground and the hot side going to the uh, actual. Um, actuator because what that double pole double throw relay does is switches the polarity so at some point or another you will have 12 volts 
on uh, each on each of the wires one at a time, of course, and you just want to make sure they're fused for safety. Um, now, as far as the hardware goes, uh, hang tight for just a second for the noise. Okay, as far as the hardware goes, she had to come through there and go down the driveway. What these are, um, this part here is actually a, uh, a caster. I took the wheel off, the axle goes through here. It's supposed to be a caster for a cart or whatever. Um, bought these new. You can probably find something cheaper than that to use for your hardware. Um, these are quarter inch uh, ring clip pins and then I have some bushings in there to, uh, to keep the, the shaft for the actuator actually in the middle. It does hinge quite a bit. Um, so you can see the bushings in there better. It's holding that in the center. Um, I actually damaged uh, part of this one time because it it dropped all the way down and then it went up against this. It has a, uh, a stop limit on it of uh, like two, 225 pounds. I think when it reaches 225 pounds, it automatically reverses. That's a whole lot of weight, a whole lot of pressure. This goopy looking stuff around here, uh, this actuator is not actually designed for waterproof um, use. It does have a rating. Um, I don't remember what you call the rating or exactly what the rating is. Um, it can withstand some water, but this is some uh, epoxy that I just sealed all the joints up with. It's ugly, but um, so far it's just, uh, survived a bunch of rains. Um, right now I've got it mounted with wood. This is just a two by four braced back here. I've got it set off from the post, maybe about a foot. Um, foot maybe a foot and a half from actually where the center of the hinge is and then you know it, this was all trial and error the way I've got this set up this is two decking boards with a two by three in the middle and um, I've got a two by three up there two by three down there and I use decking screws just to kind of clamp that onto the gate it will move some uh, you loosen those screws you can adjust it and that's kind of how I figured out um, where it needed to be um, as far as the wiring, also, I've just got the wire nuts on there for the uh, actual power out to the actuator. A lot of your commercial actuator or gate openers will sometimes tell you to apply direct power to the actuator to help troubleshoot. So I did this to make it easier where you can just take those wire nuts off, touch the wires directly to the battery, and you can see if it's your board that's a problem or your relay, your battery, or your actuator. Um, but yeah, works like a champ. Um, I've had a couple of little problems with it. Um, I'm going to replace all this wood and, and do metal. I just wanted to do wood to mock it up and uh, see what kind of angles I needed to work with and whatnot. Um, but yeah, cheap, works, uh, and uh, I'll post another video when I get it going good. Or I say when I get it going good, when I, when I redo it all with metal and it looks a little better. It's kind of tacky right now. But uh, serves purpose. I think people get the idea. Gates closed. Don't come down my driveway. Don't let my pit bull see you. So there we are. Any questions? Comment. Post. Like. Blow.